In a long-awaited spectacle, the Golden State Warriors showcased a stellar performance, triumphing over the Chicago Bulls with a familiar winning formula in a 140-131 victory. Following a challenging series of games and facing criticism on their home court, the Golden State Warriors embarked on a five-game road trip, seeking a change of environment that could breathe new life into their campaign. The seemingly fragile hope turned into a much-needed reality as the Warriors secured a victory not only against the informed Chicago Bulls, undefeated in their last three games, but also reignited memories of their iconic, world-beater third quarter. During their NBA dominance, the Warriors were renowned for their world-beater third quarter, signifying their explosive comebacks after half-time to knock out their opponents. This winning formula resurfaced today in Chicago as Stephen Curry and his teammates amassed an impressive 48 points in the third quarter, outscoring their opponents 48-20. This stellar performance marked one of their standout quarters of the season, turning the tide from a 15-point deficit to a commanding 15-point lead. 110 to 95. Clay Thompson emerged as the star of this quarter, sinking five successful three-pointers. The 12-minute period proved to be the turning point as the Warriors transformed from trailing by 15 points to leading by the same margin. In the final quarter, both teams engaged in a fierce back and forth. Stephen Curry shone brightly, contributing 15 points, 5 to 9 FG, in the last stretch, sealing the Warriors' 140 to 131 victory. Despite a slow start for both Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson, who missed 10 of their first 11 three-point attempts, they ignited in the final two quarters. While the Splash Brothers were relatively quiet, Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Kuminga stepped up to keep the Warriors in contention in the first two quarters, setting the stage for Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry to shine in the latter half. Klay Thompson delivered one of his outstanding performances of the season, scoring 30 points, including seven successful three-pointers, 7-1-5-3 PT, along with six rebounds and six assists. Stephen Curry made a perfect comeback in the fourth quarter after a challenging start, finishing the game with 27 points and nine assists. In the fourth quarter alone, the chef scored 15 points with a 5-9 FG. Jonathan Kuminga contributed 24 points with a 9-12 FG, while Andrew Wiggins added 17 points, eight assists, one steal, and one block. Dario Saric also made a significant contribution with 12 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists. The collective efforts of the Golden State Warriors were highlighted by only 3 turnovers throughout the game, 20 successful 3-pointers, and an impressive 39 assists out of 49 made field goals. These statistics echoed the Warriors' trademark style during their peak, a rare display in the current season. On the other side, the Chicago Bulls put up a strong fight with a 58.1% field goal percentage and 18 successful three-pointers. DeMar DeRozan shone with 39 points, 15-21 FG, 71%, while Kobe White and Zach Levine contributed 25 points each, along with seven assists. Unfortunately, the home team's mistakes in ball handling, including 12 turnovers, and losing ground in the third quarter cost the Bulls their undefeated streak. This victory allows the Golden State Warriors to regain joy after a dismal stretch of home games, marking a favorable start to their extended road trip. Up next for Curry and his teammates are the Milwaukee Bucks, setting the stage for a clash between the NBA champions of 2021 and 2022. The game is scheduled for 8 a.m. tomorrow, on January 14th.